What's up guys and welcome back to Simply Chaotic. Today we have a Series 110 that we are going to open up. I don't think I've ever opened one of these before. I think I may have opened a Series 2. It Actually, you know what? It might have been a Series 1 because I think there's five of them. So if you see on the back here, it has... Yeah, so there's five of them. So I think I've opened this one on this channel. We didn't really open get anything good out of it. Um, so hopefully we can get something a little bit better for this one. Um, but yeah, these things are super cool. They're kind of getting hard to come by. I got this one actually from Poland. Um, so that's how far we got to go to get these. Um, but yeah, he's, he sent me quite a few different um, Dawn of Param stuff. It seemed like he had a lot of Dawn of Param. I think a lot of the other stuff he had already sold. Um, it did take a really long time to get here. But I heard other people in Canada, it took a lot longer to get to them, so I can't complain. But uh, yeah, we're going to open up this today. And before we get into this, uh, I just wanted to mention that we have some new stuff coming up, some new series in this channel. So far, we've mainly just done openings, and I kind of want to mix it up a little bit and get some gameplay in, but I don't really know how to build decks. Um, I could build one, but it probably wouldn't be very good because I, I know there's like strategies around the deck that I'm not aware of, like burn teams and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be more interesting if people would like build decks for me and send it to me. And then during like a certain time during the week, I'll be on and I'll face whoever's on and we'll chat and I'll live stream it. Well, sorry, not live stream it. Can't live stream, unfortunately, on the channel. But I will uh, record it, and then I'll put it on the channel. But, yeah, I mean, if you want to create, like, a super crappy deck and just, like, embarrass me on it, then I'm co completely cool with that. That's completely fine. I probably wouldn't even know the difference. Um, well, I mean, I'd probably be able to tell if somebody was really messing with me because the creatures wouldn't, like, all their abilities would conflict. Um, but yeah, I was thinking that we'd do that where people just kind of build decks and if you want to send it in or I'm going to probably build a couple decks as well if I don't get any submissions. This way we have something to go on. But I will have a time and date coming up here soon um, so that you guys can, if you want to get on and play, um, I'll be on a, a specific time on a specific day. <laughs> uh, that's extremely vague, but I'll have more details as it gets closer. We also have our next series of booster packs to open up. We, if you guys remember, we did like a, a break series where people purchased these packs for like a dollar, just really just paying shipping. Um, and we split them up against two people. There was five packs and I think it was Zenith of the Hive was the one that we did. Uh, I'll have to double check, but we do have another one coming up. I think it's Silent Sands. Um, but I will post that date um, in this video. So basically, I'm just going to put it on eBay for 99 cents plus shipping. You're going to get five packs. We're going to open them on the channel. Um, probably doing it Facebook Live this time because last time we weren't able to do live on YouTube. You need a thousand subscribers. So just wink. You know, help me get to a thousand subscribers. Anyways. Um, so we're going to do it on Facebook instead. I have a Facebook page for Simply Chaotic and I will live stream the opening there and then I will create the video and put it here on YouTube. But yes, it is Silent Sands. Uh, so it's five packs, 99 cents plus shipping. Um, and we're just going to open it on the channel and hope that we can pull an ultra. Last time we pulled like three supers, which was really odd out of five packs. So hopefully we can at least continue that luck. Um, if not, you know, hopefully we just get some good cards that you guys don't have. So, and then the next one that we're going to do is uh, Beyond the Doors will be the next one after that. And that'll be five packs, 99 cents. So we got basically all the way through except for Alliance Unraveled. I don't think that we have packs for that one. So we'll continue doing them probably once a month. And then we'll also do more openings. But all right, let's go ahead and get into this 10. So... It, I have opened one of these. Um, my luck wasn't great on it. And actually, when I was younger, I didn't open one, but uh, my close friend that collected cards with me opened one. And I think it was the Mepedian one. 
And I don't think we got anything good out of it that time either. So hopefully it's a little bit better, 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 better today. Um, but there is the packs. I'm probably going to save. And you know, this tin is pretty cool. It's, I, I know a lot of people use them to like store cards in, but it's a really awkward shape, right? Like even if you take this out, it's still, it's not a perfect square and you can only get like one line of cards. They got to be faced up, which makes it kind of hard to close. So not super great design. I know they were trying to like replicate the scanner, which is cool, but for storage, um, it's not the best. So let's go ahead and start with Zenith of the Hive first because that one is my least favorite. I'm just, there's just not a lot of creatures in this set that I really like. Um, but I actually have gotten a lot better luck with um, with these this set than I have other ones so I think uh, I'm trying not to pull I'm just gonna pull two cards because I'm not sure what it is but uh, yeah I've, I've gotten pretty good luck with this this series I've gotten quite a few supers and ultras from it um, unfortunately I haven't gotten any uh, really good supers from the Silent Sands, but we got Melody of Meek. There's Melody, um, oh, Melodic Might, and nothing there. So we did get a super on the first one, which is pretty good. And I think I have that card, but um, I'm not really sure. I I unfortunately don't keep track of a whole lot of stuff, aside from like the the cards that I'm really trying to get, like a lot of the the well-known creatures um so a lot of people ask me if i have you know certain cards i have to go through and check i don't have like a running list and really if cards pop up on ebay for like decent prices i usually snag them uh, as quickly as i can and if you're interested in, in finding out how to get those good deals um i highly recommend that you join the discord because there is well there's two different discords there's one that's for trading and there's one that's for just general chatting um and you you actually can't sell on on one of the the servers so there's birk and hive unsung um so you just have to know which one's which uh one of them i think is called chaotic exchange another one's just like chaotic i think but um, there is a section on the chaotic ex exchange that uh, people just put like great deals and stuff. So if you're watching that or on Facebook, they do that as well. Um, so if you're just watching it, you can you can catch some good deals. I recently got some Ripple Foil Kaor and Maxor for like seventy five dollars on auction, which was just phenomenal because I think. Sometimes those can sell for $75 a piece, if not more. Uh, I don't think they were max stats, but uh, they're still Ripple cards, which is pretty hard to come by. Those are the first ones. I believe they're the first ones. So, plus there is a lot of sellers that are not interested in selling on eBay if you don't like dealing with eBay, which you know, I, I've been there. I've had, I've sold a Chromax on eBay one time um, to a country that's not typically one that I sell to just because of um, inconsistency in the postal service. And with eBay, they're always going to side with the buyer. So most likely what's going to happen if your package doesn't arrive is you know they're going to give the buyer a refund and then you kind of get screwed so um i try to only send to specific places now recently canada's postal service has been pretty bad so i've had quite a few things get lost in transit there as well but that's kind of part of the business. So if you're not interested in doing eBay transactions, 
you can always go to Facebook or one of the discords um, because the community is pretty tight niche and there's a lot of reviews um, look at that there's a refrain of denial that's a cool card because there's a lot of reviews on sellers and buyers um, you they typically keep people accountable I've heard a lot more people having trouble with Facebook over discord I don't very rarely do I hear issues on discord all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get to our super rare which this one guarantees I think two super rares at least dang this thing's kind of hard to open I'm trying not to open it and like flip out all the cards so two super rares with the potential of getting a ultra rare I think it actually says on the box that yes one in 20 tens contain a hidden ultra rare so not to great odds which is probably why we have not pulled an ultra before but we are going to try again and see if our luck can continue so the first one we already know is Bareth Beyond which is the typical card that you get from this underworld 10 um, I think I really only know the Mepedian one. I think it's Prince Mudino. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. The And then the Karaba, I think, is the Overworld one. But those are the only two that I know. So, Bareth Beyond. And let's see what our second card is. Oh, and it's just a Merant. Which we've got plenty of him, unfortunately. He is a super. Uh, that's a bummer. So I think that like Maxwell would be a really great card, obviously to pull from here. Um, I don't believe Heptad is available in the tens. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that one as well, but I'm pretty sure he is only Heptad's available in the starter decks, which I've never pulled him in a starter deck. So uh, he's definitely a, a very rare one. I, I think I've pulled every ultra rare from the starter decks except for heptad so but oh well um i do have some more of these coming in i'm not sure if i'm going to open them if i'm going to keep them sealed but we'll get to that we do have some uh beyond the no sorry we do have some dawn of param booster boxes coming in that i probably will open up at least one of them on this channel maybe even split it up into two but um, that would be really cool to open up. I, a bunch of them came on the market all at the same time, which I highly recommend if you're selling and you're wanting to make good profit, like you recently bought these boxes, I recommend that you, and you've, if you've got a, a huge um, stash of them, I would recommend spreading them out. Don't post all of them at the same time because that scarcity is gone. Um, so you want to try to, to enforce scarcity by only posting like one at a time and people are like oh this is my only chance to get one so I'm gonna spend a little bit more so just uh, some friendly advice if you're selling on eBay and you're wanting to make a good profit everybody that's buying it's probably gonna hate me for saying that but that's probably the way that you want to go um, at least whenever I sell stuff that's that's the approach that I take so um, but yeah we'll be back for more openings we're gonna do some some online play and yeah we'll do some breakers in the coming future so thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give this channel a like um and we'll be back for more thanks